he wasn't violent to officers. I couldn't see him pointing a gun at an officer. For the very first time tonight, we are hearing from the daughters of a man shot and killed by a Metro police officer this weekend. Our Ellen Carter was at the police chief's press conference today with what officers say happened during Daddy that incident. Joins us now with the family's reaction to that. Alan? And guys, this is the scene where that uh, suspect was killed in this situation. You can see the memorial now growing. The chief today spoke at length, oh, nearly an hour, I should say, about this situation, giving his events a play-by-play -play of what happened. However, the family of the suspect not happy about that version of events. The chief says it's about transparency. This is, uh, this is not a conversation that uh, luckily happens often, but it's a conversation that, that needs to be had. No chief wants to have an officer involved shooting on their hands, but now, five days after IMPD officers shot and killed a man on the east side, Chief Brian Roach giving more particulars about what happened. They observed what they believed to be a narcotics transaction. When police tried to make a stop, it led to the fatal moments on 42nd Street. There were three officers on the scene, two of them fired weapons. So far, only the witness has provided a statement, but says no doubt he saw a gun. The officer says he saw the gun as it came across. When he pushes off to create distance, uh, he hears uh, the other two officers making commands and, and, and shooting. 45-year-old Deshaun Downing was killed on the scene, but despite seeing a gun, officers did not find a weapon on him. But the chief says that doesn't mean it wasn't there. Eventually, we locate two handguns. Uh, one handgun is in the vehicle, and another handgun is outside on the driver's side. The officer in his statements saying he thought he was going to get shot in the head, uh, and the reaction uh, of the other two officers is pretty consistent with that, and I don't have anything else that would indicate otherwise. However, Downing's family back at the scene on Wednesday says it doesn't add up. Y'all opened fire, and the guns weren't even on that side, on his side of the car. Like, none of that makes sense at all. So I'm going to need them to get there. I, I don't know that it's just senseless. There's going to be a lot of questions surrounding this incident about body camera footage. The police department is testing a pilot program. However, none of the officers involved in this case were wearing one. Coming up at 6, you'll hear the chief's thoughts on that. Reporting live in Indianapolis, Alan Carter, Channel 13, Eyewitness News. And there's a story we will continue to follow. Alan, thank you for that live report tonight. We'll see you at 6. We also have some